Hello there. Welcome to this new video. Um, uh, today we're gonna see how the escaper works. I'm up. Uh, I'm up at one of the routes in a in a crag in Nantes. We're gonna try out this little thing. Well, this is a pouch, but we're gonna try out the thing that's in it, which is an escaper from Bial. And a few years back, they came up with this, uh, which is essentially a system that allows you to uh, abseil, repel, on a single strand of rope. I'm gonna show you how it works, because people are scared to use single rope techniques, because the older ones always have been Dangerous, I guess. Risky. So first off, I'm going to show you how it works, just so that you can see that it's safe, I guess. Then I'm going to show you how it's overly safe compared to, to what it even says in the packaging. So to start off, uh, I'm just going to put this somewhere where I don't forget it. So to start off, I'm just going to show you how a regular repel works. So, regular rappel, take your rope, pass it through the anchor. Keep it on one side of the anchor. Boom. And do your knot. I'm only doing this as a single person, but apply it to a, a two-person situation if you have to. So there, uh, I've passed my rope through, thread it through the, the BLA loop thing. I pull it. I pull half my rope, ideally. Then I can finally unclip it and throw it down the face. Boom. Now, I've got two strands of rope where, on which I can put my reverso or whatever in regular repel. Now, in, in the case of the escaper, I'm just gonna explain it how I, as I go. So with the escaper, the way it, it's made is, it's basically a strand of rope, not very long, with a sling attached to the end that acts as a prusik. prusik. And uh, an elastic to act, to bring back the proofing together. The way it works is you take your rope end, thread it where you would normally thread your rope, and thread it through the proofing, following the yellow arrows. Uh, you pass it through the whole thing. Not very complicated. You've got about 11 loops of sling to get it through. Then you bring it all the way back up to the BLA station until your black mark on the rope is at least past the whole thing. So now you've got a very compact system, relatively. So that's your escaper all set. Now, the thing that you have to do to go down on a single strand is, well, use a single strand. So you have to attach it here with a knot. The, the thing is, this was not designed to be used as an everyday de everyday abseil device. This is for when you end up only having one strand, which means in an emergency situation. Two possibilities, either you've underestimated a, a, a rappel and it's too long for your rope. So let's say uh, you've got 50 meters of rope and your rappel is 55 or 60 meters. Or you cut one of your ropes, which brings you back to the first situation. Let's say you cut one of your 50 meter ropes while going up and you have a 50 meter rappel to do. Uh, well, you've only got one rope and one cut rope. So in this case, you would want to use this, but for regular use, maybe not, because it's, it's still a safety equipment and it's still more dangerous than regular abseil. Just gonna show you that it's not hard to use, but you have to know how to use it before actually needing to use it. I'm just going to take my figure eight knot that I had on my harness and redo it 
back here on the blue loop at the bottom of the sling. There we go, I tighten this. And just to show you how it works to undo it, well, a Prusik, since it has an elastic, when you pull on it, it stretches a little bit and slides a little bit down the rope. So with the elastic, when you let go, the, the weight of the rope is gonna keep pulling on it a bit, but it's, it's just gonna slide down a bit. And every time you pull on it, it slides down by about two centimeters, which means it goes down a little bit each time you pull on it. And that's basically how you get your rope down in terms of safety. On other single strand abcell systems that existed before, like the Fifi hook or things like that, those were not safe because the moment you let go of your rope, it would just come down the cliff. With this, uh, BL advertises uh, 8 to 12 pulls to get the rope down. I have never gone under like 18 pulls. So this thing is safer than even set on the packaging. So this is pretty safe. Going back to this, now I've made my figure eight knot. I've put a safety knot behind it. Pulled it all the way back up so that the sling comes up to the, to the ring. Now I take my upsail device, whatever you want to call it. So I, I put it in on my sling. Then I thread a, the single strand I've got through just as if I was gonna repel with two strands, except I only put it in one. Now here's the trickier part. The, one I, the part I don't like as much about it. As you can see, the belay device is much, much lower than where I'm actually attached to the, to the anchor, which means I have to find a way to get down on my belay device. So what I have to do is basically either hold the belay station or hold like my rope at this blue sling, not anywhere else on it, because that would just deactivate the, the blocking effect and you would just slide off. Just checking it, it slides back up. I've done two test balls before going down. So I pull on it, put all my weight, if possible, on this dark blue sling. Uh, then I take my PAS off and try to get down slowly on this. And now it's under tension. Now I just have to go down. there that's it now I just have to clean it all back up put it in this pouch and and we're good so that's it uh, bit of a different type of content compared to what I first did this is not an MMX video this is not a tinkering video or anything with that said uh, disclaimer uh, don't try uh, weird techniques rope or climbing techniques at the top of the cliff uh, for the first time or don't try them in a dangerous situation for the first time try that at the bottom first second disclaimer i'm not sponsored because this is the only the second video i do hope you liked it give it a like if you did don't if you didn't subscribe if you like this type of content i'm gonna go back to tinkering soon don't worry